for office parties, hasn't it? <laughs> anyway, we'll come back to that later. Um, lovely to see you all. Happy New Year. Yay for 2022. Right, you have to go. Yay! Whoa! Like, pretend you're at one of Boris's office parties. Oh, drink, drink, drink. Um, anyway, right. Uh, is anyone interested in, like, online games? What about Wordle? Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Yeah, who's into Wordle? Who's, she's never heard of it, you know, illiterate, she's useless. Um, so anyway, there's a tricky new puzzle called Wordle. It's designed to make your brain curdle. Mm. Five, a five letter word guess in just six tries or less. I gave it a go and got fuck all. <laughs> and that's spelled F-U-C-K-L, by the way, for any purists. <laughs> that's what it is, Heather. I've never heard of it. I'm not illiterate. Well, I don't know, maybe I am. Okay, I'm going to do a new poem today. Whoa, new poem! Oh, yeah. 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 New, new poem! 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 It's called What a Coincidence. <laughs> a chicken farmer sat in a local barn, slurping a glass of champagne. He looked very happy and kept saying cheers, raising his glass up again and again. He noticed a lady sitting alone who had a bottle of champagne on ice. What a coincidence, he said. Are you celebrating too? Yes, she said, this is Moe, and to hell with the price. They both cleaned glasses and the farmer said, can I ask the reason why you're celebrating? I found out telling her that I'm pregnant, she said. <laughs> After five long years of hopeless mating. <laughs> what a coincidence, he said. I'm a chicken farmer. And for five years, all my hens have been infertile. But today, they've all laid fertilised eggs. He punched the air with a huge, gaffy smile. That's amazing, said the woman, looking very impressed. But how did your chickens sell you or become fertile? Oh, I used a different cock, he grinned. What a coincidence, she said, with a smile. <laughs> a different cock! and chickens, it's funny. Um, <laughs> I think it's funny. Anyway, um, back... because he didn't invite the office girls, the two-faced fucking lying twat. <laughs> so he'd never have forgotten them if we turned up with our jokes and our naughty rhymes. Because there ain't no party like an office girl's party. <laughs> Serves him right and it's time to resign. Yes. <laughs> okay. Do you know what the similarity is between, between Boris Johnson and the clapper on Big Ben? Between Boris Johnson and the clapper on Big Ben. No, what is that? They're both massive villains. I do my Boris poem. This is actually quite a serious one. <laughs> Come on, Boris, pack your bags. Your time's up as PM. You've lied and bluffed, and you've lost our trust and cause so much mayhem. Wear a mask, wash your hands, stay indoors and don't go out. While all your staff have a good laugh at Covid rules you flout. Birthday cakes, drinks at work, we all know you've been cheating. Garden parties, cheese and wine, and you insist it was just a meeting. Behind closed doors at number 10, the shit's now hit the fan. You're so half-arsed, you've now been grasped, you pompous fucking sneaky man. 